Today I'm going to show you how to install a pre-cut window tint kit. These are the tools that I recommend using um, to tint just about any car. Um, these five tools I found uh, will get you through an entire tint including a back window. Um, there's a lot of tools out there online, um, a lot of different varieties, uh, hundreds of tools. Some of them can be helpful in little, little different ways. These five I've found um, will get you through the job. Um, you've got a black Teflon five-way hard card. You've got a two-inch yellow turbo squeegee, uh, six-inch yellow turbo squeegee for bigger windows, back windows. Um, a side swiper, that'll help you squeegee out the bottom of back windows um, and the hard to reach areas. Uh, and a easy reach triangle card, uh, it'll help you get in the corners, uh, up in the hard to reach places. Um, a box blade, one inch box blade, uh, pretty common at your local hardware store. This will clean the glass um, before tinning. Um, roll of paper towels. Um, uh, application solution. Um, I recommend filling it with purified or distilled water, less particles in it. Um, fill your bottle with the distilled water. You want to put about a tablespoon or an ounce of baby shampoo in. You want to shake it up, uh, flip it upside down, um, make sure that it's shaken well. Um, may or may not need a pair of scissors. Um, with pre-cut tints, I, I find that you need these to separate the patterns. Um, in this case, this tint, pre-cut tint kit, uh, it comes all as one sheet. Um, so I will need my scissors uh, to separate out the patterns. Um, I find that the patterns that are all on one sheet are a little better protected in shipping. Uh, the individual ones will move around sometimes. Um, either way, if they're individualized, I'm, I'm sure people will package them accordingly uh, so they, they show up in good condition. Um, may need scissors to separate them. Um, I've seen both out there. A uh, heat gun uh, will be used to shrink uh, the film on curved glass. And uh, you can get this heat gun um, or one like it at any local hardware store. They're fairly inexpensive or online. Um, uh, that's the tools that you're going to need. The first thing we're going to do here is uh, we're going to clean the glass. Uh, the cleaner the glass, uh, the better it looks in the end. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is make sure the vehicle's on and I can roll the window up and down. Um, I'm going to spray the window wet. I'm going to grab a paper towel. Uh, first thing I like to do um, is I rub my hand along the window. Um, I can feel for anything that may be on there. Glue, uh, anything that might be on the window. I can feel with my hands. So I'll take a look um, and see if I see anything. Um, I'm going to take this towel and rub it down the edge, across the bottom. I'm going to rotate to a clean spot on the towel. I'm going to go down this side. I'm going to take my box blade. I'm going to run it down that side, across the bottom, and down that side. Notice I'm only doing the bottom of the window. That's where I like to start. You'll see later in the video why I do that. I'm going to run the razor blade across the window, overlapping my pattern. I don't want to move up the width of the blade each time. I may miss a section. So I'm just going to move up a quarter of an inch each time so that I'm covering all of the area two and three times. Okay. I'm going to set that down. Now I've cleaned the bottom. I'm going to roll this window down so I can get to the top edge, but what went down in there is clean first. I'm going to spray the top one more time. I'm going to feel with my hand along that top edge. It feels smooth. However, I'm still going to run the razor blade across the top edge and down to where I left off earlier. I 
I like to overlap my pattern with my blade. Go up the side and across the top and down. You'll see why here in a second. I've created a section here in the middle and I just move over about a quarter of an inch each time. And I'm coming higher and lower overlapping my pattern. So slow motion, you're just coming down and you're moving over just a little bit at a time. Okay. Set that back down. Spray the window wet one more time. You don't need to spray a lot of water, flood the door. Uh, just a few good sprays cover the area. Um, the water does run on the outside of the door panel. Um, generally not in where the electronics are. It will drip out the bottom corner. Um, but try not to flood the vehicle. Find a clean spot on your towel, press it back in. I like to go across the bottom. Rotate my towel to a clean spot. The dirt and dust you just wiped out, if you put that same spot of the towel back on the window, you're just going to put that dirt back on most of the time. I like to wipe down the area around where I'm tinning as well. Helps make for a cleaner install, even though the film isn't going there. Um, now I'm going to grab my yellow squeegee, turbo squeegee, and come up, across, and down. What I like to do now is wipe the edge of my squeegee. I'm hopefully squeegeeing off any dust or dirt that's on there. When I put this squeegee back on the glass, I don't want to reapply that dust. So I'm going to wipe that, wipe that, wipe that, and there you go. Um, keep the tools clean, helps for a cleaner install. I'm now going to take a look, see if I missed anything. I see a little spot there. Um, make sure I have a really clean spot on my towel. And just make sure I got everything. Occasionally you miss a little spot with the squeegee when you catch it with a clean paper towel. The next thing that I'm going to do now that I have a clean window is get my tint out. Um, if you're at home, just grab a blanket around the house, pull your tint kit out, grab your scissors. I can lay it out on the carpet if it's clean or on the kitchen counter. Um, find the blanket. Probably best, a nice clean one. So you can lay this down, liner side down, and uh, just throw that out away from you there. Now what I'm going to do, in this particular case, this company plotted the film, I'm going to separate the patterns. Now I'm going to grab the one that I need for the driver's side door. I'm separating the liner here from the film so that I know which pattern is for the driver's side. They both look identical. The only difference is, is one has the liner on a different side. So in this case I can separate the liner. I know that that liner is going to come off in the adhesive side is going to go on the inside. So this pattern, if I know the liner is on this side, the adhesive side will be on this side. So this is the passenger side pattern. So I'll roll this back up. Be very careful not to crease your window film. Light creases sometimes are in the liner. Um, heavy creases are in the film. A lot of times you can get those out with a heat gun um, if they're small, most of the time not. Um, 
you like a, a nice end result, try not to crease your film. If they plotted this correctly, which I'm sure they did, this should be the driver's side. I separate the liner from the film. Um, you can put a piece of tape on either side and separate them. Um, uh, you can use your fingernail, or like I've done, I uh, just put it in my mouth and grind my teeth. It separates two pieces. Um, then I take a look at this pattern adhesives on that. The side that the liner's on, which means when it goes on the window, it goes on this way, and that's the right pattern. That's the way to check your pattern. Um, now I'm going to take my solution. Put that so you can see a little bit better. The liner side of this film is going to be on the outside. So I'm going to place that here on the door. What I'm doing now is I'm going to shrink the film to fit the curve of the glass. Um, not all windows need this. Um, this one I could stick without shrinking it. Um, it helps um, to go ahead and check it. So what you do is you grab this black hard card. I like to go across the top and down, across the top and down, pulling the slack in so that if there was a curve, I would know about it and I could shrink it. In this particular case, I don't see much of what we call a finger. It looks like a fingertip. It'll grow up the window like that. That means there's curve to the window. Geometrically, a one foot by one foot piece of film fits on a flat surface. When it's curved, there's excess. Take your heat gun, set it on the highest setting, grab your black Teflon hard card, Make sure that it's on the highest setting, as hot as it will go, and on high. Start at the top of the finger, shrink down. In this particular case, the factory edge, some window films will only shrink to the factory edge. Um, I noticed as that finger began to go like that, that, that the factory edge is on left, the left and the right. Film has a grain to it like wood. It will only shrink to its factory edge most of the time. And in most cases, when you get a pre-cut window tint kit, you won't know if the factory edge is on the bottom or the side. You can heat it up. I'm going to show you what it looks like to shrink to the factory edge. So I'm going to create a finger here. Okay, there's one. This particular window uh, does not really need to be shrunk. Um, it does have a little bit of curve, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to shrink that. Um, you bring the film together and create what's called a finger. And this is what it looks like when you're shrinking the film to the factory edge. It'll wrinkle up like that look like a squiggly line. That means you're shrinking to the factory edge. Now you press that out and it's gone. Notice how when I shrunk it the first time to the non-factory edge, um, it didn't wrinkle up. It just started coming in and stayed in its shape. That will ruin your film if you keep going. Uh, find your factory edge over here, uh, shrink it, press it out. Now you've got a pattern that's shrunk to fit the curve. Um, some vehicles may have more curve to them. You may have three or four of those fingers on those vehicles. I'm going to take my pattern. I'm going to lay it back down. And I'm going to trim off some of the excess. Just a little bit there to make it a little easier. I'm going to reverse 
the film on the window to weed out the pattern. Liner side was facing me while I was shrinking it, so I didn't scratch the film with the black hard card. In this particular case, I need to weed out the pattern, so it needs to be reversed. Separate the film from the liner. And peel this down. You'll see here, if you look closely, where the pattern is. What I'm peeling off is the excess. It peels off very nicely. It's very simple to do. It matters about 10 seconds. Peel that off. And now what I'm going to do uh, to make the install a little easier is I'm going to trim off any excess liner. It doesn't need to be right up against the edge of the film. Just helps the install go a little smoother. Uh, don't worry about the top. You'll see later in the video. I'll peel that down. Um, on this side where I'm going to be tucking it in left to right, I really don't want a lot of extra liner. So I'm going to go ahead and just trim it a little closer to the film. Uh, make sure you don't cut into your film. Take this pattern now. I'm going to flip it around. Place it on the window. Open the door. My window now. The reason for me cleaning the bottom edge before rolling it down and final cleaning it is now I'm ready with the window rolled down about an inch or two to apply my pattern. I'm going to spray this wet. I haven't rolled the window up and down. Haven't, if I had rolled it up, I would need to re-clean the top edge. Now I just need to spray that wet. Close the door. Now I'm going to remove the liner, but I'm going to leave it on two to four inches at the bottom. Don't peel the liner all the way off. I'll show you in a minute why not. I'm going to grab the liner. I'm going to very carefully pull the liner off. It's really important that you don't let the film collapse and stick to itself. It's a PS of pressure and sensitive adhesive and you will not get it back apart when it's dry. Once it's wet, you can touch it together all you want. I spray the bottom first so that no dirt from the vehicle runs down onto the top of the pattern. I start with the bottom and then I just quickly miss the top. And grab the pattern from one side. Be careful not to crease or crinkle your pattern. Grab your pattern off the vehicle. Open the door. I like to stick the left side in first. I hold this side out and I curl my hand down in this particular area. I slide that back in. The baby shampoo is allowing the pattern to slip. Without it, it wouldn't move much. Okay. I'm now going to break the pattern free. I'm going to slide it back in further, a little further than it needs to go so that this side is easy to tuck. We've got a gap here, so now we're going to slide it back this way. Okay, I'm going to grab my pattern and I'm going to move it up, positioning it as close to the top edge as I can. It will move while 
squeegeeing and you will be repositioning it. But you want to get it pretty much where you want it to start. Grab your larger turbo squeegee. Small one will do the same thing. Um, if all you have is a small one, it'll just take more strokes to squeegee. I'm going to use this bigger one. I'm holding the pattern in place with one hand. I'm going to start at the bottom in the center. Don't overlap your squeegee on to the film and liner where it's still connected. It can crease the film. You want to go about an inch above that. Hold the pattern in, in place with one hand over here. When you press with the squeegee, the whole pattern's going to want to go that way. If you hold it in place, you can press with this one without moving the pattern. Come over here, hold it in place here. The whole time I'm checking this top edge. That moved a little bit, so I'm going to readjust it. And I'm going to press that way. Now I'm going to check it again. Every time I'm making a pass with the squeegee, I'm checking that top edge. Uh, now I'm going to go from the center up off the top. Wipe the squeegee. Check my top edge. I'm going to finish here by going this way, this way, off the top. Checking my edge. It moved up a little, so I slid it back down. Hold the film. Press that way. Checking my top edge. Getting as close to the bevel as I can. If you overlap it too high onto the bevel, or past the bevel, it will peel. You want it just down off that edge. Computer cut tint is much more precise. You should be able to get it really close to the edge. Okay. Generally, you want to pull the squeegee. When you get to the end, you need to push. Kind of work it back. Don't try to finish the install with this squeegee. Go ahead and make sure that you've pushed the majority of the water out. Clean your squeegee, set it down. Now I'm going to check my top edge one more time. Looks good. We've got it right on the edge there. Now I'm going to move to the, to the hard card, the black Teflon hard card. You grab a paper towel. This edge is longer than this edge. I want the longer edge. I'm going to wrap my paper towel really tight on this edge. If that's wrinkly, it can cause issues. Nice, clean, sharp edge there. What I want to do now is hold the film again so it doesn't move. Start with the same pattern that I did with the squeegee. After a couple pushes, this may get dust from back in the edge. It'll get wet. We want to absorb the moisture as we're pushing. So I'm going to just rotate that to a dry edge that's clean. The whole time I'm still watching, monitoring that the film isn't moving, checking my top edge. I'm going to go up through the middle again. Just giving it a few pounds of pressure. Don't push too hard. Don't lightly card. You do need to push the moisture. Get back up in that edge. Work my way from the center out. Back over to this edge. Uh, this particular vehicle doesn't need too much with this tool. It can be very handy on about half the cars out there. You can get up in the edges. You don't want to card out on the film ever with this card or any of these hard cards. They will scratch the film. You wrap them in a paper towel. It is okay if you're back up in the corner and you need to get up in there with this tool to do so there. Just be careful not to scratch your film. What I'm going to do now is shut the door. Um, depending on the temperature of the day, the glass could be warm. You may not need to do this. Um, I like to do it just to be safe. I'm going to heat up the top edge. Keep the heat gun moving so you don't melt the rubber on the vehicle. Just warming up the glass on that edge. So that when I roll the window up, it doesn't peel the top edge off. Okay, checking the edge, it looks good. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lift the liner in the film and I'm just going to go all the way up with it and stop. Okay, next step, I'm going to grab my solution, water and baby shampoo. I'm going to lift the liner carefully and I want to spray right in that crease, up high. Okay, here you may need to spray quite a bit of water, okay? The reason being is the glass was down in the door and it's going to bring up a little bit of dust when you roll it up. By flushing and rinsing a little bit, it's going to rinse it down off the glass so it's not left behind your film when you're done. 
you need to make sure that you hold the film as you pull the liner. This part's very important. People will go to pull the liner, they'll pull the film off the window, and then you're, you're starting all over. Hold the film in place with one hand, and pull down and at an angle with this hand. Move your hand over as you're pulling over. So that it doesn't lift the film back up like I explained. The rinsing um, that I did also made the glass wet. So I'm going to grab my thumbs. I'm going to lift up on the pattern and tuck it down in to the bottom. Lift up, tuck down in behind the gasket. Lift up, tuck down in behind the gasket. You can see there's a little wrinkle there. You want to pull out and push in. Don't crinkle and force the film in. Lift up, slide it down in. If you get something like this, just gently work that out with your hand. Um, the deal is go slow, take your time, do a good job. Um, window tin is not something you want to try to rush. If you get good at it, you can do it a little faster. I'm going to make sure this is clean before I put it on the film. Every time you see me wipe that, if there's a grain of sand on there, I'm going to scratch my film and then i got to scratch or I need to buy more film. I'm going to press to the side. Um, notice I'm coming up pretty high. I don't want to miss anything. So overlap your pattern is, is key. Um, I'm going to make sure that's clean. There's, sometimes there's dust down in that bottom edge. I want to scratch the film, so I'm kind of wiping that squeegee off each time. Okay. Sometimes you can run the corner of it down like that. Yeah, there's a little bit there. That's going to be the job for the hard card next. I can use my same paper towel as long as I find a clean spot on it. No need to get a brand new towel. This one's new right there. This pattern's now tacked. It's not going to move much. I like to still just put my, my hand on it, in case it wanted to. I start from the center out and higher than where I was to make sure I'm overlapping my pattern. Once I get to the bottom and I card down, I like to rotate my towel to a clean spot every couple of passes so that I don't scratch my film. Go back in the corner. Get that, couple there, rotate my towel, I'm going to come across and come down here into the corner. I'm going to take the towel that I used on my hard card and I'm going to wipe down the door panel. You want to do this as quick as possible. Uh, it's just water and baby shampoo, mostly water doesn't usually hurt much, but the sooner you get it off the door panel, the better. And do a good job of getting it off of there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a paper towel. And I'm just going to mist the window lightly like that. Just barely. Don't need much. Um, take a paper towel. And I'm going to clean the film. It's had some suds and soap and from the install. And I want to make sure that it's clean and looks good when I'm done. This tool, like I said, isn't needed for this vehicle. I may like to just run it in the corners. Corners are prone to peeling if they're not tucked in right and back in there how they need to be. Uh, you can just run that down the edge and in the corners. Sometimes I like to take this one behind the gasket. Um, there's a rubber gasket down in there with felt on it that grabs the dust so that as you're rolling the window up and down it doesn't scratch the glass or the film. Um, helps reduce that anyways. I like to make sure that the film is flat behind that gasket. Some cars may have a gasket that runs up higher than the door panel. It's very tight. This tool on this end can be used to tuck behind the gasket, pull the gasket out, and get the film behind it. Um, just about done. I'm going to come to the outside of the window here. I'm going to spray a little on it. Grab a new paper towel. Let's start with the edges. I just like to do the edges. If you didn't notice in the squeegee pattern, and then I work through the center. Rotate your towel as you're getting soap and things off of the glass. It's going to cause streaks and smearing. So if you keep rotating to a dry spot, different spot on the towel, 
it'll it'll get it clean. If you notice a couple of marks like that, um, you may just spray your towel a little bit and come back over and you can work on getting those little spots off. If you have a terry cloth or kitchen rag around the house, sometimes you can put that on there, um, just dry and get some of the streaks off in the end. And that is how to tint your window um, with a pre-cut tint kit.